Another great advantage of using D20 Pro Manage Tiles feature is we can use each tile as its own layer. In this map, we have a background layer, a layer with the roof of the house, and another layer being our bridge. In gameplay, one of our players can go up to the house and open the door, and as the GM, we can make the roof layer invisible, allowing the players to see inside of the house. After they're done exploring the house and want to leave, we can make the house roof visible again. Another great way to use layers is for illusions. This map, we can use the bridge as an illusion. So when the PCs come up to the bridge and try to interact with it, we can have them make the appropriate saving throw or challenge check to see if they know it's an illusion. Then if the PC doesn't know that it's an illusion and moves to where the bridge is broken, they could fall into the ravine, and you can mark the character's new elevation and roll for damage. And of course, insert your evil GM laugh. Have land or sea transportation in your game? There's a sticky tile for that. This allows you to make any creature on the tile, move with the tile, or rotate with the tile. We simply click on the sticky tile button, and all the creatures with the tile will move with it. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial. For more information, visit us online at d20pro.com.